वेलकम टू ज्योति हाइड्रोपोनिक्स फार्म हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू विल हैव अ ग्रेट टाइम विद अवर कोर्स एंड विल लर्न अ लॉट लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट माई सेल्फ अ बैर बिफोर वी जम्प टू फुल फ्लेज वीडियोज आई एम अ डेली लाइट फ्रॉम डेली इंडिया एंड अ कंप्यूटर इंजीनियर हु टर्न हाइड्रोपोनिक कंसल्टेंट एंड फार्मर फुल टाइम आई स्टार्ट स्टडिंग इंजीनियरिंग इन राजस्थान and then continued in north india and mumbai i have worked in big companies and processes like linksys by cisco division ist cisco partners mumbai and id technologies gurgaon which is nowadays known as gurugram and then ibm chandigarh was my last company that i worked with unfortunately I had to quit my corporate industry because of some family issues in late 2012 and then I just thought of doing farming as I had faced the crisis of market fall in 2008 and 2009 but that time agriculture sector played a very important role in saving our country's economy I researched about the different type of farming styles and just stacked on the hydroponic system which really attracted me and showed me a picture that if all of our farmers enroll in this technology then for our farmers there is no looking back and they can live a life king size my research on growing quality veggies and fruits started taking shape I started researching polyhouse growing techniques and started meeting many people in this industry. In November 2012, I came across hydroponics and it grabbed my attention with one simple thing. Grow anything anywhere with minimum labor and without any climatic obstacle. And my hydroponics roller coaster ride started. it is very simple to understand and implement hydroponic system it took me 2 years to get the information to start a hydroponic setup for commercial purpose how are these videos designed this is minimum with science but with technicality of science we can have maximum business that one can think of so Let's start this journey of science of hydroponic and grow 100% pure and perfect food for our upcoming generation. There are many scientists, farmers who will teach you the science of hydroponics, but I am here to guide you with the knowledge of technical science for maximum business that can be availed from less space in respect to commercial business. After practicing hydroponics with all the costly science and some frugal tricks what i realized is the local market is not ready to pay a premium price just because you have a costly consultant for managing your farm which is totally a wrong perception our experts have given i have made these hydroponic setup videos for everybody in small small portion videos so that we can have a clear picture about hydroponics this is a system and changing it is going to take some time until then let's be in the system make money and then spend that money on changing the system so what we focus on we focus on good quality food with less input minimal science and minimum viable product model no fancy pieces of equipments pipes or systems just to satisfy our ego and make us feel as if we are doing science experiment with plants we focus on maximum number of plants in small area with just required nutrients with a frugal system which is not that great but sells great and makes more money at low input cost in these videos you will feel 
we are not talking about multiple hydroponic systems or fertilizer solutions like two part or three part solutions we are specifically talking about nft dutch bucket nft grow bag dutch style nft with tank a and b using dry fertilizer requirements and using it on monthly basis this channel focuses only upon how to make maximum profit and practicing the best hydroponic science available out here that's what makes us low cost setup in many places you will feel we are breaking basic rules of agriculture maybe yes but again as i said before we look at hydroponics as a honest money making business model at the same time providing better quality veggies and fruits to our consumers so i'll give you a small example here in our hydroponic system we buy ultra costly tank a and tank b nutrients from some ultra costly uh, consultants and an acid tank now buy a costly nutrient machine which will continuously calculate nutrients in the water and mix the new nutrient solution into it keep it operational with 24 by 7 electricity supply and keep on refilling tanks a and tank b and this is ultra costly science now our method is very simple here either we get a consultant to calculate how much fertilizer we need mix them well in mother tank and blend it in the main tank now we repeat this process in next cycle it works fine with plants but the only thing is it doesn't need 24/7 surveillance and electricity and this is business i'll be honest with you i created all this material for my own future farm setup i have consulted many farms and now i'm planning to work with two other farms of my own and meanwhile i realized this industry is so big and the demand is so high that thousands of farmers like me can't grow enough to fulfill the requirements of this growing industry so instead of keeping my knowledge and documents on my computer i just thought of spreading it live through my channel and before we proceed i would say that always remember a saying it never gets easier you just get better in your life so let's get started to get better at farming here as you can see on the screen this is the requirement guidelines that we require to set up our hydroponic setup so these are the nine must have requisite the first one is space or land so you will need land and that can be your own or can be on long term lease you can also go for the terrace of the building of your home next comes the water source you will need water source available to you you will need liters of water if you have your own tube well or bore well it's an additional advantage as it can be kept as a backup for the secondary source of water then access to transportation adequate road make sure you have transport service available to your place of operations you will be ordering a lot of heavy metal stuff and transporting it with manual labor to your site that can be costly and tedious then comes electricity you will need electricity at the location of business as this entire project depends upon electricity then you require the hardware equipments like jigsaw screwdrivers testers etc and etc then comes the labor now either you would be requiring a simple uh, non skilled labors or skilled labors then comes the boundaries around the space or the land that you have selected then you also require some earth moving machines like jcbs or drill machines so that is the last requisite here now we proceed to the costing and i would rather suggest that we continue in a new video because this would be a very big video here so let's switch on to a next video thank you and have a nice day see you in next video